I'm going to demonstrate how to link an XML file to an InfoPath form. What this allows you to do is use an XML file as an external source within InfoPath. The Excel file, XML files that I've created include furniture items with the name and price. And I'll demonstrate that to you now on how it looks. So as you can see here, you have the chair and the price and the table and the price in the XML file. Now I'll show you how to link this within an InfoPath form. Now what you have here is essentially a blank form and I'm going to put in the name and call it furniture um, items. Next we're going to add the data source. So if you click the data ribbon tab and then from there you select from other data sources and then from XML file and I'll browse now to the actual XML file I opened for you earlier called items and you click next, next and that essentially links that to the InfoPath form. Now if we go on the fields we'll see that we have items secondary and if you click on products we'll see that we've got product name and product price. So I'm going to drag products to the actual form and this adds a repeating table and now if I preview that form you can see I've got chair and table and their re relevant prices associated with it and that's how you add a, an XML file to an InfoPath form now if you like this video please subscribe because I'll be adding lots more that are nice short and to the point thank you